myself and my eyes shall behold and not another. We brought nothing into this world, and it's certain we can carry nothing out. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I said I would take heed to my ways, but I sin not with my tongue. I will keep my mouth with a bridle while the wicked is before me. I was dumb with silence. I held my peace, even from good, and my sorrow was stirring. My heart was hot within me while I was misusing the fire burn. Then spake I with my tongue, Lord, let me know my end, the measure of my days. What is it that I may know how frail I am? Behold, thou hast made my days as a hand grip, and man again as nothing before thee. Hallelujah. Verily, every man at his best state is altogether vanity. Surely every man walketh in vain. Surely they are disquieted in vain. He heaped up riches and knoweth not shall gather them. And now, Lord, what wait I for? My hope is in thee. Deliver me from all my transgressions. Take me not the reproach of the foolish. I was dumb. I open not my mouth because they did it. Then. Remove thy stroke away from me. I am consumed by the blow of thy hand. But thou wilt rebuke, do corrupt man for iniquity. Thou makest it beauty to consume away like a mother. Surely every man is vanity. Hear my prayer. O Lord, and give ear unto my cry. Hold not thy peace at my tears. For I am a stranger with thee, and a sojourner at all my fathers. O spare me, that I may restore strength before I go him forth and be no more. Lord, thou hast been my dwelling place. In all generations, before the mountains were brought forth, and even though they formed the earth, and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Thou turnest man into destruction, and say, Return ye children of me. For a thousand years in thy sight are but a yesterday. When it is past, and as a watch in the night, thou carry them away as with clouds. Thou art asleep in the morning, they are like grass that groweth up. In the morning, it flourishes and it grows up, and in the evening, it is cut down and lit. For we are consumed by thine anger, and by thy wrath we are troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the light of thy countenance. For all, all our days are passed away in thy wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are three scores, years, and ten. And if by reason of script they forescore and years, and yet is their script, labor, and song, for it is soon cut off, and we fly away. Who knoweth the power of thine anger, even according
According to thy fear, so is thy wrath. So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long? And let it repent thee concerning thy servant. O satisfy us early with thy mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad our days. Make us glad according to the days wherein thou afflicted us and the years wherein we have seen evil. Let thou work into thy servants and thy glory unto thy children. And let the beauty of the Lord, our God, be upon us. And establish thou thy work of our hands upon us. Yea, the work of our hands establish thou it. There is one glory of the sun and another glory of the moon and then another glory of the stars. For one star different from another star in glory. So also it is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown in the natural body. It is raised in the spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. And so it is written, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. However, that was not first, which is spiritual, but which is natural. And afterward, that which is spiritual, the first man is of the earth. Earthly, the second man is the Lord from heaven, as is the earthly. Such are they also that are earthly, and also is he that is heavenly. Such are those also that are heavenly. And we have borne the image of earthly. We shall also bear the image of heavenly. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Neither do corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you one mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in a twinkling in an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised in corruptible, and we shall be changed. For the corruptible must be in corruption, and the mortal must be put on immortality. Amen. You may be seated.
Let it be. 
be your brother. Yes. Let it be your husband. Yes. Just hold on.
Y'all know who I am. Yes. To the friends that don't know who I am. I'm the son of Essie and Thomas, Leroy Eagle, Larry, Mom, and my mom was sisters. Yes. I love my family. Yes. I never thought this day would come. I see Larry all the time at my brother's in my house. He sat on the porch. Larry said, because my feet hurt so bad. I take a knife, cut these feet off. I say, Larry, you need to go to the hospital. I say, go to the hospital. I say, everything's going to be all right. Sometimes we don't realize it's a manufactured recall. We might not get it on this side. We get it on the other side. God got us in every situation that we go through. Every situation that we go through. I looked up to my cousin Larry from being a small child to a grown man. I remember Larry coming to town in this old green truck. I said, I'm going to get me an old truck. I bought a 65 Chevrolet. I remember when Larry came into his money, bought a Hummer. I wanted to drive that truck so bad, I was scared to ask him. He pulled up in my house, I'm like, man, he got a nice truck. A few years later, God blessed me. I bought a Hummer. Motorcycles. Larry cruised around on that fat boy, made it look easy. I remember my cousin Kim took him, text me and say, Tracy, somebody saw you going out 903 on your bike, say you look like you're in a baby seat you so <laughs> And I'm like, I'm doing things I've seen set before me. My cousin Larry presented a good example of being a man. He loved his family, yes, his did. grandkids. It wasn't nothing that you wouldn't see Larry at. He always showed love. I never forget the cookouts, the parties. He always say, it's about our family, having yes. a good time. Yes. And the thing I love most about my mother and my mother, sister kids like Larry, Robert, Dennis, it's like people don't realize we first cousins. Yes. They think we're brothers and sisters. <laughs> it's like, that's amazing to me. And yes. one thing I want to leave with you before I leave, if Larry was here, he didn't took the walk that we had to take. It's Romans 10, 9 and 10. Yes. I confess with my mouth Hallelujah. and believe in my heart yes, that God raised Jesus from the dead. Yes. Thou shalt be saved. Yes. With the heart, a man believe unto him. Yes. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Yes. God, yes.
But you do not know where it is coming from and where it is going. So it's with everyone who is born of the Spirit. And I'm going to put a P in it right there. And I want to use for just a moment when the wind blows. Y'all hear me? When the wind blows. Yes. As I begin to look at John, the Bible tells me in John, the first chapter, in the beginning of this book, we notice that there is the word. The Bible teaches us in the first chapter of John, the word is introduced to let us know that God is the word. Yes, he is. Yes. Also lets us know that in a sense the word became flesh. Uh -huh. After that it reminds us that the word revealed who God is. Uh -huh. Later on in chapter 1, we get a few witnesses. I'm looking for witnesses today, I'm telling you. They were 
Family, I love you. I love you. I love you. And whatever you need, believe me, God got us. And one day when we leave here, we're going to be able to rejoice with our family and our loved ones that have gone on before. I remember the teachings of Grandmother Ola. I remember when I had problems. I can go by Clinton elementary school and go in the cafeteria. Sit down on the box and grandma will fix me a plate. And I will tell her all about my troubles. I miss that. But yes, I knew that she knew she had a kingdom over on the other side. And we can see them again if we live right according to God's holy will. Uncle George left me. But I still hear him every now and then when he flipped down on me to see what's going on at the church. And one thing about Uncle George, at the church they assigned me to, he was right there. If he could make it, he would be there. I give God glory. I'm going to miss Uncle Larry calling on the phone to see what Glory G they could. And for him to give me his oil over the phone. I'm going to miss that. Because one thing about my mother, she said, my brothers are coming. Make sure they get their plate. And then before they leave, she asked me, y'all need another plate to take out the door. Because that's the kind of mother she is. She wanted to make sure all her brothers had something to eat. I say to you, family, we got to hold on to one another. There is no big eyes and no little use in God's sight. We all are somebody in the sight of God. I love you. I love you, but God loves us best. Come on, give it to God. Give all praise. Give all praise.
place, we'll be at the Red Hill Baptist Church Cemetery. And for those of you that will be driving in the procession with us, please use your flashes to drive an extreme care. Also, my friends, we're asking you to load your transportation as quickly as possible. Thank you. Thank you. 